Pisces, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading, baby. Yes, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, okay? I love you too. Guys, I thank you in advance for likes, shares, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Truly, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd love to have you. And be sure to ring the bell so that you're notified of future readings. This is energy, not gender, okay? You will hear me use he, she, it, they, heifer, but pay it no mind. <laughs> it's all energy. This is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth, okay? Mm. Pisces, I feel like you guys are so strong right now. Like, intuitively, you're just, ugh. Love it. Close encounters you pulled for your center energy. Uh, Oracle of the center ener uh, seven energies here. Uh, close encounters, not da, 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 da. <laughs> like the movie. <laughs> but really it is. Close encounters are speaking to engaging in intimate relationships. Uh, you know, uh, letting the guard down, letting people in. You know, releasing um, the shield and unmasking of yourself so that they're seeing the true you and welcoming that true you. Scars and all. Scars and all. I think what's helping you do this... Mm, sorry. I think what's helping you... Mm, I'm sorry. I just realized how guarded you were. I didn't I didn't pick that up when I was first getting into the energy and it's coming through now. I I, I didn't whew. This is like a chastity belt on top of the chastity belt that's underneath a suit of armor. Like seriously, lockdown. Complaint. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Pisces. <laughs> Did you put your heart on lockdown? Like clink clink. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, what you want, wants you. So if the energy is calling for you to just lighten up a little bit, release a little bit, expose a little bit, try it, you know, card number 10. And you also pull card number one, you know, earth magic, grounding, associating yourself with things that keep you grounded, that keep you focused, that keep you, um, in an optimistic approach, you know, a seed can become what? Flower, plant, tree, you know, uh, pick one, you know, growth is possible and it starts out small. So it seems that the small is you, you know, so be the seed and let something beautiful sprout out of a relationship that you're, or an energy right now that's trying to connect with you. Okay. Did I cut this? Um, I was going to go to the dreams of Gaia, but the sacred rebel is calling for you here. Just this one on top. Okay. Wow. Receiving. Look at that spiritual nourishment being fed to you. Beautiful. An energy of receiving. It's okay. For this time to drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> for this time. It's okay, all right? It won't hurt you. It won't kill you. You won't choke, you know? It's okay. Let your spirit be replenished. Let your spirit be restored. Water might be uh, important to you right now. Focus on the light. Focus on the promise. Focus on the optimism. Fo focus on source. Let God continue to be your leader, you know, your provider, your inspiration, okay? Promising things, positive uh, affirmations. As you uh, speak them to your spirit, as you're trying to um, allow yourself to have whatever this close encounter is with this energy or this other person, okay? I'm loving this, guys. It feels really good, really, really good. 
Um, some of you have huh, a new spiritual connection and you're not sure whether or not to trust it. And the energy is saying it's okay. You know, it's okay to trust it. <laughs> and you may feel it. You may feel it in your feet, and to be honest. Send an energy, please, for Pisces. Thank you. Wow, look at that. I love it. I'll take it. Six of air, balance, truth, chakras align, coming into the acceptance of the good, the bad, the indifferent. You know, it's all part of you. And realizing that it's also all part of everyone and everything. There is no such thing as somebody being perfect. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. The channel is called Perfectly Imperfect. I'm just saying. All right? But this is your center energy. So you're really coming into terms with that, which is great. Allowing yourself to embrace the energy of um, becoming more intimate in your relationships, becoming more open in your relationships, okay? And still staying grounded in your, your source, you know, still staying, staying optimistic in uh, your maker. Receiving the replenishments of spirit. Crown this energy. This is beautiful, guys. Oh, MG. Pisces, please. Crown this energy. Thank you. See, there's the truce. Here's a six of fire. So we have the six of earth. I'm sorry, uh, air. And we have the six of fire here. We have a lot of balance. A lot of recalibrating, settling the spirit, settling the soul, settling scores, everything. You know, this is a truce. The agree to disagree. Possibly even with a, a overseer. Overseeing the truce. You know what I'm saying? But balance nonetheless. What's undermining the process? For, thank you. Queen of water. Hmm emotions definitely your energy hmm. almost as like you feel like your intuition not is wrong but you just either you're questioning your intuition or you feel like it's off if that makes sense you feel like your intuition is off where is this coming from what what brought this on please for pisces thank you and there's the emotion, emotion over intellect. This is a page of water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Emotions have, were a part and they're playing a part now. Either a new love, a new encounter. Somebody caught feelings, apologize. And you're trying to just say, you know what? It's cool. You know, we just want to move forward. Where's this going? Pisces energy, please. Forward energy. Pisces energy. Future energy, please, for Pisces. Thank you. Number two. We have the eight of water and the four of air. I'm in control of my happiness. I'm in control of the smile that I wear on my face. I have that control. I have the ability to wear it. I have the ability to share it. Because I've learned with that queen of air at the bottom of the deck, you've learned and you're also being shown as an example. The queen of air is a very teaching energy. She not only cuts off uh, people, places, and things, she does so in the manner to teach. She also um, learns quick. Anybody that's playing any kind of foolish games, five of earth right under that, 
playing with your balance, not can trying to knock you off your square, but it didn't work because you turned that pain into power with that ten of fire. And you took a new leap of faith and a new look at life with this maiden energy and, and enjoyed this rebirth, ended the old and embraced the new. And if you had to start from the beginning, so be it. But you almost as if like the child view is raw and it's honest. And that's what I think helps you um, or help. How can I say? Yeah, I want to say that. I want to say helps you calibrate today the good and the bad. Realign your chakras with that understanding. You know, people are the way they are. It is what it is. It doesn't have to be you. You now know how to deal with them accordingly. So now it's no longer a fight within you and it's not no longer a fight with someone else. Okay. You just realize that whatever this connection was, if you had an issue in your life that was a problem, it shouldn't have the effect that it should carry through your life. You take what you get from it, you learn, you move on. Or if this is an issue of new love and you may have some scars or some emotions that are still connected to old ways of thinking, you're trying to release that and realize that you're the one in control. So it's okay to trust somebody because now you can foresee that if their, if their intentions are, you know, malice, you know what I'm saying? Like you can look for the signs now. You you have that control and you're not to a point where your mind is so wrapped up or your heart is so emotionally wrapped up. Whereas though, if you see any red flags, you're going to just eat, take a whole bunch of, you know, crap from somebody and just eat it. You know, um, without cutting it off, you just be like, you know what? This don't feel right to me. I'm going to back off. You know what I mean? That's just where you are. And that's okay. That's a good, safe place to be. And that's a confident place to be. And it took you a long time to get here. Kudos to you, Pisces. Seriously. It took y'all a minute. Pisces energy, please. I love this growth. There's just so much growth here. I mean, growth on top of growth, spiritually, mentally, physically, just growth. Growth in your relationships. It's like your spirit, you developed a healthy relationship with spirit. So spirit allowed you to have a healthy relationship with yourself, which is allowing you to have a, a healthy relationships with the world. You understand what I'm saying? And if you feel that it's not a healthy uh, connection, you're noticing it now, like immediately. But I think some areas you still kind of think the old way. It kind of creeps in like you don't even realize it. But you get it back under control, which is cool. And that's normal and that's human. You know what I'm saying? To have, you know, second guesses. We're going to clarify with the fountain here. Because this is a lot of spiritual growth. This is definitely... Ooh. Yes, my loves. We got some talented people in this uh, energy here. Uh, I want to start with the past. Emotion over intellect. The page of water. Thank you. And we have the magician. And the ten of wands. You, you know... Manifestation shouldn't feel like a burden. It should be done with optimism and great expectations at heart. But some of you, you may have felt like your manifestations, you know, were coming, but it was so much smaller than you asked for. It felt like it was so much less than what you expected. You understand? Um, tell me more. Past energy. Damn. Five of swords. Justice reverse. Ten of coins reverse. Yeah. <sighs> Guys, I feel like you hurt somebody or somebody hurt you really bad. To a, uh, And we've talked about this before. Something that was legal and had to do with finances. Um... I 
I think that overall, this past situation, let me just get one on the, uh, man, thank you. Why is everything coming out in clusters? Seven of Coins, Queen of Cups, Reverse, Eight of Swords. Um, yeah, same energy, Queen of Cups, uh, uh, Queen of Water here in the upright, Queen of Cups in reverse in the past. It's the same energy. You know, something you were really, something you extremely cared about or somebody you extremely cared about. I think they tried to stop you from progressing, stop you from um, doing something, okay? And it wound up being exposed, number one. You found out, they or they figured it out. And, you know, it, it made it hard to produce new, you know what I'm saying? To start over for somebody, you or them. It made it hard. I ain't going to lie. All right. But I think through this process or through this challenge here, you just come to terms with it is what it is. I'm going to let it go. Even though my heart is hurt. Sometimes I feel like I can't let it go. I know I got to let it go. You know what I mean? Because I know from here on out, I'm I'm going to definitely ha take more control over who I allow in my space, who I trust, what real happiness is, what real friendship is, things like that. All right. And with the Close Encounters energy coming in first, guys, it's almost as if now maybe you have a new opportunity for a new friendship, for a new union or something like that, that maybe you don't trust it. Tell me about the six of air. Not that you don't trust it. You're just a little leery. Lovers here reverse. Yeah, you're definitely a little leery on moving on in love. Tell me more. Gemini energy with the lovers. The devil and the six of coins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You are not trying to lose no more than you than you've already lost. That's just really the bottom line. I don't want to lose no more than um I've already lost. I've already lost so much in the past to a point that I'm not letting nobody take from me again. Six of fire crowning. Six of fire, please, crowning for Pisces. Six of fire. Queen of coins. Two of Cups, my loves. Yes, there is a new connection at play here. Definitely. Some of you all have a new connection coming in. You're just not sure of whether or not you can trust it because somebody did you dirty in the past. So you're kind of taking your time. And the time that you're taking, Divine is saying you're taking too much damn time. I mean, at least lower the shade a little bit or turn the blinds so you can let the sun in. You still peeking out the side of the blinds. Like you can let the sun in. I ain't saying open a window. I ain't saying open a door. I'm just saying open the shades. That's all I'm saying. Hello? All right. Others of you, um, you're in the energy of coming uh, into new connections, some type of new collaboration or connection. Maybe somebody that you didn't really expect to work with. You might have a financial gain or like a, a business partner, a business connection that you'll be perfect with. But y'all had some kind of differences that you that needed to be settled before this can get off the ground. And it looks like this is happening as we speak. Why is the queen of water undermining the process? Why is the queen of water undermining? Three of wands reverse. I stand by my original explanation of this energy, which is that it's just old ways of thinking, something you expected that didn't happen, something, somebody you expected to act a certain way that they didn't, somebody that you expected to defend you, they didn't, you know what I mean? So it hurt. Eight of coins here. Almost as if you felt like everybody was working against you. Okay, tell me more. Page of Cups reverse. Now the Page of Cups is here in the past and the upright, but now that same energy is, it's almost like that opportunity or that situation um, that you may have thought was hard but promising that wound up biting you in the butt is now like it's just an energy that's lingering that you keep thinking about that's holding you back. That's just the bottom line. It's holding you back. 
let it go. Okay, you have possibility, uh, possible new beginnings here happening. The energy is definitely shifting into a new direction for you. All right, there's nothing wrong with being cautious, but don't be cautious to the point that you don't see um, the gift basket that's at your door here. Okay, tell me about the uh, eight of water and the four of air, future energy. Three of Cups, see? Things coming together. Celebration, collaborations, happiness, joy, good times. Tell me more. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy with that Three of Cups. Tell me more, please. And Six of Cups, balance, emotional balance, and peace. And, you know, the, the Six and the Three, that's nine. That's you being in a really good place emotionally where you want to be in the first place. You want to be okay with being okay. You know what I'm saying? And not worrying about what could happen because of what did happen. I'm not saying, you know, set yourself up for failure. I'm saying don't remove yourself from the possibility of success either. I'm just saying. Capricorn is talking to me. Hold on. Can I just have one specifically on the devil? Ten of Cups reverse. Don't be fooled. It's a trick. That like almost as if this is saying to you that I'll never, I could never, it would never, I will never, they will never. That's a lie. It's a lie. I'm telling you, don't believe it. And don't feed that to your spirit. It's a lie. Stay focused on the light. Remember your cards receive the replenishing you've definitely felt depleted in the past that's why god is trying to restore you uh right with spirit here and replenish your spirit uh letting you know that it's okay to be okay to start living again you remember who you are and what happened but use that to develop into new into greatness you know what i'm saying Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It's happening, baby. You have a window of opportunity here. Bottom line, Pisces, and I love it. But some of you are really in an energy that you you need it. This reading is only just to... Confirm that if you feel good about it, then it's okay. And to confirm that if you're still um, not moving because of the past, then it's time to move, to confirm that people are people, not what you expect of them. They are who they are, including yourself. You, you understand what I'm saying? That's how this feels uh, to me. But you have a see with the deaf and the eight of wands, you have a window of opportunity for a new beginning. And I don't want you to miss it. I want you to take it. That two of wands and nine of swords, I'm thinking that some of you want to, but your mind is playing with you because you don't want to be left out in the cold again with this five of coins. You understand? You know how it feels to be hurt with this five of cups because you already still hold on and harbor emotions from what happened to you in the past. But do you see that thing? How pretty is sitting up bright and stiff. That's a mother loving bum stick, baby. Yes. Hello. With a queen of wands. And they don't nobody know how to handle a boomstick. A queen of wands know how to handle it. You understand me? Yes. Make it do what it do. Pisces, do not miss this chance. Go for it. And if you feel like green eyes, you crazy, you don't know my life. You don't know my pain. You don't know what I made it out of. I'm not setting myself up like that again. I get it. I'm just saying open the shades. Because it might be something outside the window or sitting on the porch and they gonna, somebody going to steal it. That's all I'm saying. Okay? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying open the window and allow complete access. I'm not saying open the door. I'm saying open the shades, please. Okay? So that you can see out and somebody needs to see in. Because what you want, wants you. But the same 
uh, hurt you may be harboring, your person may be mirroring because you came up here with two of cups. That's a like-minded energy. That doesn't mean companion. That means somebody that sees like you see, that knows like you know, that feels like you feel. So if you're interested in this collab, in this opportunity, understand that they might have the same apprehensions as well. And if they take a peek outside and open up their blinds and look across the street and see your blinds closed, what they are going to see is a flat out no. But in your heart, you're really ready. You understand what I'm saying? Or it's ready for you. All right. I like this. Pisces, I hope this helps. I really do. Okay. Um, guys, if in the event that none of this resonated for you, that's okay. All right. Thumbs up. I see you next time. But feel free to check your moon and rising. It's okay. Don't take the energy with you. That's most important. If it's not for you, don't take it with you. Leave it here for somebody else. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.